Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here. Today we're going to be bringing you some not April Fool's news. I know a lot of people have been saying, oh, it's April Fool's, I'm not going to believe anything today. But today is the first day of Square Enix's new fiscal year, which means that amongst all the troll videos and funny forum posts about 14 mangas, there is indeed some legitimate news to talk about, and some that has some people very excited. Now, before I get started, this article that I'm going to be referring to, I am pulling from Gamatsu.com. Please, because we are using them as not only the source material for this discussion, but also as the background on the video, please go to the description of the video, visit the actual link, give them the hits because they deserve it. Now with that, the title of this interview actually involves some stuff that was changed through their recruitment pages after the fiscal year officially changed. For one, Final Fantasy VII Remake now has a new co-director, uh, Naoki Hamaguchi, who was previously the project lead on Final Fantasy VII Remake. He's now been moved into the co-director uh, seat, and he will be joining Tetsuya Nomura on that same seat. So they basically share the same role name. What this actually means for the project, I don't think we can really say for sure. It's a big mystery where Final Fantasy VII Remake actually stands. Is it still coming out for the PS4? Is it going to be a PS5 title? Um, how far along is it actually? You know, we're we're still pretty much expecting a while to hear anything too grounded when it comes to Final Fantasy VII Remake. So uh, that's probably the most news we'll get for quite some time. It's actually not the main thing that I wanted to talk about with this article, though. Um, apparently, Naoki Yoshida's fifth business division, which has previously been, uh, I think, in control of Final Fantasy XIV and Final Fantasy XI. I don't know if there's any other titles under there, and if there are, please be sure to put them in the comment section below. But the fifth business division that Yoshida was in charge of has now been changed to the third development division and has a new title under its belt. It's a new title for the next generation. Now... That excites me because I remember that with Final Fantasy XV, one of the major messages was uh, how it was supposed to impact, a, you know, something for, you know, the old and the new generation. So that wording makes me, you know, makes me think that, uh, you know, maybe it's Final Fantasy XVI? One would hope. That's my first guess when I see that. And a lot of people over the years have said, I would love to put Yoshida in charge of a single player game and a lot of people specifically asked for him to be in charge of final fantasy 16. now a there's no telling if that's what it actually is it's all conjecture and it's all speculation until there's actually a formal announcement two this actual image that you're seeing right here and the recruitment for this project has actually been available since i believe 2016. so it's not like it's anything that's brand new but it is something that popped up just so happens the year that final fantasy 15 was actually set to release now, Yoshida himself has a quote in regards to what this change actually means. Based on the former 5th Business Division, the newly established 3rd Development Division has started work on a new key project following Final Fantasy XIV. Taking up a challenge for the next generation, Yoshida said in a message. This project has already finished early development, which for anyone wondering would be things like concept art and basic core uh, engine and things like that, but they continue to develop those things as time goes on. As well as preparations for the development environment and is now moving into full-blown large-scale development phase. The new project is seeking developers who want to deliver both fun and enjoyment to the world as well as surprise. If you want to challenge the world market, then we look forward to your application. Uh, so there's not really a whole lot to unpack from that statement. Um, probably the biggest thing I see people latching onto is specifically um, his message that it's a new key project following Final Fantasy XIV. Now, obviously, as 5th Business Division was previously affiliated and, you know, now 3rd Development Division is affiliated with Final Fantasy XIV, um, it makes it sound like the game's coming to an end. I can tell you right now, it's not. Anything that makes money doesn't end. And Final Fantasy XIV definitely still makes money. On top of that, we already know that Yoshida has a minimum 10-year vision for the game, and that after that point, we don't know. Maybe he continues to be the uh, producer and the director for it. Maybe he decides to step down and hand at least one, if not both, of those titles off to somebody else. We don't know. There's no way to know what the future actually holds, and it's thinking way too far in advance. But Final Fantasy XIV is in no way coming to a close. However, it does make people wonder if the new project is a, an MMO. Um, I don't think it would be. Yoshida has commented in the past saying it's very, very unusual to have three MMOs within the same uh, business. Obviously, Dragon Quest is only available in Japan. Dragon Quest X, that is. And then Final Fantasy XI and XIV. XI has been scaled back, although it's been getting a little more attention lately. And XIV is obviously still, you know, the big money maker, you know, the number one AAA MMO that they have amongst the three. 
So would they really want to do another MMO? I don't think so, but I think there's there's lessons to be taken from the development of Final Fantasy XIV, both its resurrection from 1.0 to 2.0, as well as things that they've learned over six years, almost six years of post-launch development at this point. So I think that it's very possible the new title could take into use some multiplayer functionality, but I'm very hopeful that this is a new mainstream Final Fantasy game. Yoshida, in other interviews recently, has stated that if he had control, he would like to actually actually do like a high fantasy style Final Fantasy game. And high fantasy is something that, you know, 15 moved away from. Whether or not people enjoy it is up to their own personal preference, but I'm a big fan of the high fantasy uh, kind of feel when it comes to Final Fantasy games overall. So I would love to see Final Fantasy 16, if that is what this project is, actually go to a form that, uh, I guess matches that vision that he's spoken about. And anytime Yoshida says something, we always latch onto it like sheep. <laughs> I know I do at the very least. You guys know that I do. So I'm very hopeful. There's a lot of things he said in various interviews that have me very hopeful, but I should probably end this video before we get off on too much of a tangent. Now, if so happens you're watching this video and you're interested in working on it, the third development division is currently seeking planners, designers, programmers, and a project manager. For the project, that should be available on their recruitment page, which is in the source as well. So if you meet any of the criteria that's listed there, try applying. Who knows? Maybe you'll be working on the next big title for the next generation. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think this is Final Fantasy 16? I'd also like to point out, I guess before I end it, Yoshida isn't listed as a producer or director. He's head of the division. So it's not the same thing as being the producer or the director on a title. I think I should say that before this actually wraps up. It's not like he's going to be, he's a very hands-on person from what we understand from his development team, but it's not the same as being a producer or director. So what his involvement actually means, I couldn't tell you right now as the head of the uh, development division, but it at least means he'll be signing off on stuff. I'd have to imagine stuff would have to go through him before uh, making it out the door. So not the same, but I figured I should mention that before wrapping up the video. Anyway, let me know what you think. Do you guys think it's Final Fantasy 16? Deja vu. Do you guys, uh, are you guys excited for that? Are you guys into like the high fantasy, uh, you know, theme for Final Fantasy? Or do you prefer something in a more modern setting? Or do you want them to tackle a new setting altogether? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section of the video below. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, take care.